it's been a while since I did a boat related video and I spent the past four months learning how to use honeycomb core and fiberglass to build large structures that are now an integral part of the hull of this boat and I didn't want to just start posting videos as I was learning because I've seen too many videos where I, I try to look something up to get useful information and then I go out and try it and it's a disaster and then I try looking further and I find another video from this guy that says oh man I really screwed up the last time you know this is the right way to do this thing so rather than do that to you, my trusted viewers, um, I decided to wait until I had a fair idea what I was doing. Bear in mind that I only have four months experience working with these new materials. But I can tell you what not to do. <laughs> what didn't work out so well for me and what did work. So I want to thank Teal from YouTube channel Onboard Lifestyle for really inspiring me to use these materials. He has totally rebuilt a big catamaran using pretty much nothing but fiberglass and honeycomb core which is super, super light. Um, and of course, unlike balsa core and stuff like that, it's not going to rot or get waterlogged or anything. It's a really nice 21st century material for boat building. And I have built some new big structures that are now an integral part of the fiberglass hull of this boat. And so, let me show you what I've made so far. Um, this is just a preview, and what videos that follow this will be a series about how to use these materials using the things that you'll see now that I've created for my boat as examples on how to cut the core, how to assemble it into a structure, and how to make a fiberglass shell, both inside and outside of this structure to make it really solid and strong, although still pretty feather light, and then how to coat that with gel coat and a variety of surface finishes that you can give to the gel coat which require different amounts of labor to achieve. Um, just as a preview, if you don't mind a pebbly texture on what you've done, this can be done pretty quick. It's not that much more difficult than making it, say, out of plywood. On the other hand, if you want a glossy finish like the way a hull of a boat comes out of the mold, this can be done, but it takes a lot of sanding, mostly sanding, with rough sandpaper. And by the time you get it to the point where you've got all the little ups and downs out of it, then you go up through the grits of sandpaper and that takes hardly any time at all. So here are the things that I made for my boat out of honeycomb core and fiberglass. This is the honeycomb core, um, the way I get it from the fiberglass shop. You can see the cells in the middle that are like tubes or straws stacked on end. 
This is another piece. It comes in different thicknesses. The thin one I'm holding is quarter inch. The other one is maybe three quarters or one inch. And this is what it looks like if you cut it in half. You can see the honeycomb structure inside, which is like a lot of plastic straws um, stacked together on end. And this is a piece that has fiberglass on both sides. That's just one layer of chopped strand mat on each side of that honeycomb. See, the, the, the raw honeycomb can actually be bent, not that easily, but pretty easily. Um, this camera has a little bit of that jello effect, but I can assure you that I am not flexing that core one little bit. This is the chop strand mat. You always use this as your first layer and your last layer. And this is woven glass cloth, which you put in between layers of chop strand. And if you want to make it thicker, you add another layer of chop strand, another layer of woven, and so forth until you build up. These are the holders for my dinghy. And this is a countertop. And that is a doghouse for my generator. All of these structures were made out of honeycomb core with fiberglass laid over the core and then gel coat put over the top of that. And as you can see, the countertop has a finish pretty much like glass. It took many hours of sanding and then polishing to get to this glossy finish, but it is possible to make things without a mold that have a finish like this. That pebbly finish that you saw on the front of the counter is the same gel coat. This is the doghouse for my generator. And these panels open up so that it can get ventilation while the generator is running. And it is an integral part of that countertop. And no matter how much the boat rocks, it's not going to fall off with my generator. 